And what was the purpose of this broadcast, Mr. Arto? Primarily to denounce certain social obscenities officially sanctioned and acknowledged. One, this emission of infantile sperm donated by children for the artificial insemination of fetuses yet to be born and which will be born in a century or more. And, and two, to denounce this same American people who would occupy the whole surface of the former Indian continent. A rebirth of that warlike imperialism of early America that caused the pre-Columbian Indian tribes to be degraded by the aforesaid people. You are saying some very bizarre things, Mr. Yeah. Orto. Yes, I am saying something bizarre. That contrary to everything we have been led to believe, the pre-Columbian Indians were a strangely civilized people and that they knew a form of civilization based exclusively on the principle of cruelty. And do you know what precisely is meant by cruelty? Uh, offhand? No, I don't. Cruelty means eradicating by means of blood and until blood flows. God, the bestial accident of unconscious human animality, wherever one can find it. Man, when he is not restrained, is an erotic animal. He has in him an inspired shudder, a kind of pulsation that produces animals without number, which are the form that the ancient tribes of Earth universally attributed to God. This created what is called a spirit. Well, the spirit originating with the American Indians is reappearing all over the world today under scientific poses which merely accentuates its morbid, infectious power, the marked condition of vice, but a vice that pulluates with diseases, because, laugh if you like, what has been called microbes is God. And do you know what the Americans and the Russians use to make their atoms? They make them with the microbes of God. You are raving, Mr. Arto. You are mad. I am not raving. I am not mad. I tell you, they have reinvented microbes in order to impose a new idea of God. They have found a new way to bring out God and to capture him in his microbic noxiousness. This is to nail him through the heart in the place where men love him most under the guise of unhealthy sexuality, in that sinister appearance of morbid cruelty that he adopts whenever he is pleased to tetanize and madden humanity as he is doing now. He utilizes the spirit of purity and a consciousness that has remained candid like mine to asphyxiate it with all the false appearances that he spreads universally through space. And this is why Arto Le Momo can be taken for a person suffering from hallucinations. What do you mean, Mr. Arto? I mean that I have found the way to put it into this charade once and for all. And though, although nobody believes in God anymore, everybody believes more and more in man. So it is man who we must now make up our minds to emasculate. How do you mean? How do you mean? However one takes you, Mr. Arto, you are mad. You, you are ready for the straitjacket. No, to, no, no, to, to place him on the autopsy table to remake his anatomy. See, I say remake his anatomy. Man is sick because he is badly constructed. We must make up our minds to strip him bare and scrape off and rid him of all of that animacule that itches him mortally. And I mean God. And along with God, scrape off and rid him of his organs. When you have made him a body without his organs, 
then you will have delivered him from all of this automatic reactions and restored him to his true freedom. And then he will know again how to dance wrong side out, as in the frenzy of the dance halls. And, and this wrong side out will be his real place. 